Hi everyone, my name is Andrea JLJ Hanares and I'll be presenting to you today is all about phylum Lorisifera. So Lorisifera is a phylum in animal kingdom. These are the microscopic animal. A name came from Latin lorica means corset. Ferrer means to bear, so the whole name basically refers to the bell of ship encasing most of the body. In fact, about this creature, Lociferan, are the first known multicellular organism to spend their entire lives in an oxygen-free environment. This is the general diagram of Lorisifera, but currently there are three families in Lorisiferan. First, the Nala Rosidae, second, the Philosoridae, and the third one is the Ornas Lorisidae. This tree is the species of Lorisifera and was discovered living and reproducing in a fully oxygen-free environment of the deep Mediterranean and sea. This was the first report of Metazone to live such a toxic condition, condition to help aplatate anaerobic metabolism. Taxonomy Around 90 species have been described since, as they are so recently discovered, little is known about them and less is known about the four Australian species discovered to date. The Lorisifera nanalorcus mysticus, the animal is about 0.25 mm long. Body plan Some basic characteristics of Luciferans, their body are very complex containing over 10,000 cells. It is divided into head, neck, and abdomen. These are the parts of the Lorisifera. The styler, the clavoscalid, the spinoscalid, the tricoscalid, the spine, the plates, the hing, the anal cone, and the anus. Spine-like scalid. The head comprises nine rings of spine-like scalid of virus shape of protrude like the spherical head. In a theme, fleecy lorisid. The first ring consists of the eight anteriorly directed Cavoscalid, the remaining eight of spinocalids are directly directed posteriorly. Trichoscalids. The 15 trichoscalids of the neck can be double or single. It was discovered in the family of Nanalorsidae. The adult used trichoscalid to jump. In the family of Philosoridae, it may be used for swimming. Abdomen. The abdomen encased by a corticular exoskeleton called a lorica, which composed in several plates or plicae. In the family of Nana Lorsidae, the lorica comprises 6 to 10 plates. However, in the family of Flisse Lorsidae, there are no plates, but there are corticular plicae around the abdomen in the system of Galeo, Galeon, containing nerve cell held together by a large prenicord. Habitat Luciferans are found exclusively in marine habitats and live in the species between the sun green or in the mud at the bottom of the sea. The Nana Lorisid prefers sand with low level of detritus, material deprived from the decomposition of one's living organism or clean shell gravel. Whereas the Philocelorisid are often found in such deep sea sediment as white ibsa, globigerina oves, and the red deep sea clay from the Hadal zone, below 20,000 feet and 6,100 meter. Both families of Lorisifera have been recorded in Australian marine caves, and a new Nanalorsid genus was discovered in 1998 in sediment influenced by hydrothermal vents in the deep water of Kili Nailau Trench of Papua New Guinea. Body cavity. Their body cavity is blastocelum, which means internal organ in body fluids, without circulatory system, but when in Flesiloricid is spacious and virtually absent in Nanaloricus. It is light and scanning electron microgaps of adult of the reciferans. Itong nasa left side na picture ay one of the species of the family of Nanaloricidae. It's very obvious to see that Lorica looks like a multiple plates encasing the body. Compared to the family of Flisse Lorisidae, yung nasa right side na picture because the lorica comprises plicae or folds. Feeding Lorisiferan probably feed on suspending organic particles, microalgae, and bacteria. They eat bacteria or algae by piercing them with their oral stylet and then sucking out the contents. The spinous calid of Nana Lorisid are often completely covered with bacteria. It is still uncertain why the bacteria are present in such numbers. 
Some researchers suggest that the animal collect the bacteria from interstitial water, whereas others maintain the animal cultivate the bacteria on the mucus that they secrete. What is certain is that the luciferan feed on this bacteria. This is confirmed by the fact that their digestive tracts are filled in some cases with partially digested bacteria. Life cycle Laricifera have very complicated life cycles with both sexual and asexual forms of reproduction. Members of the family Nana Lercidae reproduce only sexual and have distinct sexual dimorphism. The dimorphism is illustrated in the male by some of Glabo and Trichoscalate that are modified pheromone receptors as well as hooks to hold the female during copulation. Fertilization may be either internal or external. The primary larva, the Higgins larva, hatches from fertilized egg and grows by molting. After at least two to five larvae in star, young stages between the molts, the larva metaphorizes into post larva. The post larva is a dormant stage and never feeds. A male or female with fully developed gonads emerges from the post larva and the life cycle repeats itself. Characteristic Adult lorisiferans range inside from 0.008 to 0.157. The largest specimen ever recorded was a giant larva from the deep sea that measured about 0.27. The body is divided into five sections, a mouth cone, a head that can be interverted or drawn into a body, a neck, a thorax, and an abdomen. The mouth cone consists of 6 to 16 oral ridges and a corticolonized extrudible buccal tube. So that's all. Thank you for listening.